Well, hello everyone and welcome to my hobby home. My name is Kathy. I would like to thank you for joining me this evening. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I received something in the mail. I was trying to see if it had the name of it on the outside of the box. Um, it does, it does, but on the address label, which has my address on it, so I'm not showing that. Um, but let me just open what I've got. And yes, this is going to be a quick little unboxing for you guys. Um, I will say I got in today and I have so many, I'm trying to cut this box open, but I had so many packages waiting on me to get here. Um, we have just returned from Kentucky from visiting with my son, daughter-in-law, and grandbaby. And this is one of the boxes that I got. I got my open gate quilt box so and y'all probably know how much I love this box I love this box I have several others that I really love too I'm just going to get on into this and see if I can get this open I always tear this up make a mess of it okay so I'm going to read our little insert real quick um, of course with open gate quilt box you normally get two projects a notion some fabric in your projects so and with my open gate quilt box I do get the backing added which is an additional amount I will tell you about that at the end I'm going to just get into our projects project number one, number one is called heading north table runner now I've been doing a lot of table runners here lately and I'm loving them uh, let me find that is heading north table runner Okay, that is going to be this package here, and that's an interesting pattern. It looks like it does uh, uses flying geese in the pattern, but I'm going to show the fabrics to you. I'm going to push my box over here out of the way. And see if I can turn you down so you can see what what I'm looking at as well. So one moment. Okay, so here we have you down on my, my cutting table. We are going to slide out our pieces here. Um, I can tell you a little bit about this project here. This is Trade Winds Fabric Line by Renee Nanman for Andover Fabrics. It has a full color pattern with picture. So let me get the picture for you. This is the picture of what we will be doing. That is very interesting. Okay, and of course this, this is our pattern right here. So let's take a look at our fabrics. Now we have this really, I love this color. This is very, a very pretty blue green color. Very pretty. That's a, a really dark, and it's a good amount of fabric there. So I see that is going to be like the, the border here. So that's going to be really pretty. And we have another um, bigger piece. This is just a, a cream, just a cream fabric. And I'm going to apologize for the shadows, um, but my light is above my camera. And I don't really cut my light on to my camera when I'm in here. So I'm going to lay that down. And then we have these beautiful, look at these, fabric. I really like, I love this one. Okay, yeah. I, I'm really partial to this one. I love that. That's very beautiful. So we have that beautiful floral. Let me lay these where you can see them. So we have a beautiful floral here. Then next we have, um, this looks like 10 inch squares. 
this beautiful red piece. Oh, I like this too. I really do like blues as well. I like blues, greens. I don't think you can really see that pattern very well. Let me show you that pattern. That's a real pretty pattern. Then we have this checked color. And we have another floral here. Very pretty. These are all beautiful, beautiful colors. So, and of course I can never get them in here, back in here right. So I'm just going to fold this up and I will work on that in a moment. Now, like I said, I also get the backing with this. And this is interesting. Let's see if you can, can't really see that. That is an interesting backing. To go with that. trying to slide that back in there so I don't get them separated. Okay. So the second project, oh, I love it. I love this line, y'all. It's a mini charm gift bag. It includes the Blizzard mini charms. I love the Blizzard. Uh, this is uh, by Moda Fabrics, cuff fabric, ribbon, safety pin, and pattern. Oh my. Okay, so here's our safety pin. Let me. Did it say a picture was in here? It didn't say. But it's, I'm going to see if I can show you the picture. Right there's your, your gift bag. So there's our pattern. Okay, here's our ribbon. Okay, so we have pattern, ribbon, safety pin, our mini charm pack. I love this. I have a, um, I think I have a layer cake of this. But yeah, the blizzard, it has, see it has the words on it. It's, I love this. You have your little gift bags, some plaid, your little houses with trees, some just little squares there. And in a lot of the colors repeat, I can just kind of flip there. I love these gray colors. I got some of these, this gray background uh, in a scrap bag, so I may be able. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty one right there. So, okay, and then we also have the cuff fabric. So, this is our cuff fabric. It's a pretty red. That'd be cute. Cute, cute. I love this. Love, 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 love this. So let me get this out of the way here. Whoops. And I'm dropping things. The next thing we have is a notion of the month, which is a Pierce Applique Light by Carolina Moore. Okay. Okay, so it's a purse light. Okay, this is it. Let me pull it out. I've never seen these, so I'm really not sure what to make of it. But I'm going to get it out and read it. Okay, it says clip this purse light 
along the top edge or interior pocket of your purse to help you easily find everything inside. A great accessory for any handmade purse or bag. Also has a flashing red light option that can be used in emergencies. Well, if that is not nifty, look at that. And you just pull the tab, I'm sure, to make it work. How do you... Okay, right, let's see. I'm going to pull the tab. It's got the button here on the side. Okay, well that's, that is so interesting. That's, that is very neat, very useful. Great idea, guys, great idea. Okay, our next thing is we have Aurafil Thread, dark gray. I love getting threads. Lay it where to, and I do use Aurafil. This is 50 weight dark gray. Seeing if it tells me how much is on on this. Uh, this is 100% cotton. So, like, if you use these on um, pot holders and you sit something hot on it, this will not melt. Just letting you know that. I know that from experience. Other fat, other threads do melt. You have to make sure it's 100% cotton. And the last thing we have is a fat quarter. It's Trade Winds Fabric Line by Renee Nanaman for Andover Fabrics. Okay, and this is our fat quarter that we have. That's a, a really pretty piece. I do like that. That's very pretty. So that, a very, very, very nice um, bag here. So let me bring you back okay. up, guys. So what do you think about this month's Open Gate Quilt Box? Um, I do like all of, all of the items in here. I probably will not make the table runner. So, uh, because I, I have so many that I've been making here lately. So I probably won't make that, but it's beautiful. I think, I don't know. I may make it and just give it to somebody. So let me tell you about their add-ons in the box. You can have a fat quarter or stash, uh, stash buster add-on. That's what it's called. It's an additional $12 a month. You'll receive four coordinating fat quarters and a fat quarter pattern. Uh, this is a great deal for Open Gate Quilt subscribers and can be added to your subscription box each month. Um, for your first month, they are offering a special price of $10. Let's see. Then you have the large project back, backing add-on price. It says an increase. It says due to rising cost of fabric, we will be increasing the large project backing add-on to $12 per month starting in February 2024 um, that's it then they you know there's a few other things here and they do have a QR here for you to watch the class on how to make that so guys this is the December 2023 open gate quilt box very nice items in this so if you would be interested in this I will link leave open gate quilt box link down below so you can go give them a try and, and see what all they have to offer so if you're still here and you like this video like unboxings give me a thumb up thumbs up if you have not yet subscribed please click on that subscribe bus button you may be missing out on some things and uh, leave a comment i do respond to each and every comment personally and as always until i see you again have a very blessed day Goodbye.